known that Edwina had longer than a lot of people in this room. I first met her in 1966 because Bill was my advisor um, at, when I started as a freshman at KU. And then it, when it was my advisor, when I switched to an English major, so I was a family project. Um, <laughs> our children were probably 10 or 12 before they found out her name was Edwina. They thought she was Aunt Winna. And that's what they, I mean, they were genuinely shocked. And um, I just thought I would share, since it, it was nice to hear from Elizabeth, um, thoughts from people that aren't in the room that knew her well. Apparently, my children, as they communicate with each other after they got the news, they're most upset that her age was in the newspaper, in the obituary, because everyone knows that Edwina was 29. <laughs> and, and they're genuinely shocked. You can't hear it? Okay. What did I do? Okay. Anyway, I was going to say, in terms of it, input from people that are not here, as our children communicated with each other in, in their uh, sorrow about their loss, then they got really upset after reading the obituary, because of course they're the generation that reads their hometown newspaper on, in the, on the computer every day, that it listed her um, literal age in, in the obituary, because everyone knows that Edwina was only 29, <laughs> and had been 29 all the time they'd known her, and they were, my very disturbed about that. But anyway, um, she was indeed a very special person. We were we were very fond of Bill and Edwina, and then when we lost Bill, um, Edwina became, was a regular at our Thanksgiving table and was at our house for Easter. Uh, so, yeah, she's um, very special to us. <laughs>